These right. brown cows are inferior. Mm. <laughs> also kind of loud. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to a new series, uh, Botanic Adventures, where we will be playing some mod at Minecraft. Um, we seem to be at spawn, a runic dungeon, uh, conveniently there in the background. And, um, well, hopefully we can survive our first night. I don't actually have a daylight cycle running yet, so uh, we're safe for the moment. Hopefully that gives us enough time to uh... <laughs> say hello. Yeah. Starve to death. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, we can actually see it over here, the village in the background. So we do have a village okay. around here. Um, okay. With an interesting oh. big building. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah, that's weird. It's very Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we will not be going into the runic dungeon today. Although, it'd be interesting to see if, if someone try on, on the first day. It looks like, you know, in addition to all the spawners in there, there is some nice little resting areas. So, it'd be interesting, but... Uh, yeah, we're on harder mode than usual, so uh, we'll see how many deaths we get. Um, I should get a death counter. I might have to wait a minute. Um, <laughs> Ah, and a Tinker's Slime Island up there. That's odd. <laughs> yeah. Not really? Oh, I'm coming at this with no modded experience. Yes. Except for... So, so for anyone new, <laughs> he's going to be asking me questions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you should be listening. <laughs> All right. So what is the, the goal? What is the first thing we should do before nightfall? Well, this is Minecraft still. So we need a house. Eh, we could commandeer something. But you do need to do the first achievement, which uh, I think I did off screen, but is, you know, press E, checking inventory. I did that already. But yeah. No. Um, then there's the second achievement. Okay. <laughs> no, I got wood. Oh, now I got wood. And then they're setting daylight cycle to true. And this is true here as anywhere else. You do start with wood, but then things get a little more interesting. Um, we're actually going to, I think, travel a little bit. So later on, there's teleports. So we can dash around at least the same dimension very quickly. Obviously, you okay. have to set up your infrastructure first. So. <laughs> and one thing you will notice is your vanilla tools not so useful. Oi. Break, break. Okay. Ah, pinecone. I thought it was that. I got one of those too. Maybe it's... I don't know what they are. There's something else. There's pine nuts. So, first thing we should do is... This is spawn, roughly. So you should press okay. J, which will open up the mini-map. Okay. And Ooh. I was doing a little bit of flying around. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, you can delete that. That makes sense. Oh, I have a very small circle. I have the same map as the upper right. And you want to press waypoints, which is the flag on the right, probably, maybe at the top. And you want to go new, and you want to go spawn. And pick your favorite color for spawn, and press save. Yours will be a little bit different than mine, but that's okay. And you'll see a nice okay. beacon light and a little dot. And that dot you'll see everywhere. You can hide the dot if it gets annoying, that particular one. Uh, your death points will also be marked that way. 
There should nice. be uh, gravestones going on, so you should be able to go to your death point and uh, find it again. Nice. <laughs> and is it find your stuff, so your stuff will stay, they won't despawn. Is it all death points or your most recent death point? All death points till you remove the waypoint. I recommend removing the waypoint once you've uh, collected your stuff. Um, depends. If there's one place where I die many, many times, I might just keep them all there. Then you <laughs> might have warning death. Where are you? Oh. Um, I do. I want to travel a little. Okay. Just a little. We'll need that wood. It's just I want to move. I lake. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Break. Okay. I just think there might be, you know, so there is a bunch of structures around. You can certainly commandeer a house if you don't want to build your own quickly. Hmm. Or, you know, my usual hidey hole. They're simple and easy. At least for, you know, surviving the first night, getting, you know, your first bit of mining, although that can sometimes take a little bit. So your vanilla tools are disabled. <laughs> uh, many modded tools are working fine, so you will be able to do some stuff. Go with me? Yeah. Another one? Didn't realize we had two so close. Another runic dungeon over there. That one's stone, not wood. We could also hide up in the top part of one of those. What's is that? What's that? What's what? That There's stone the tower dungeon thing? to the left, and then another thing to the right. That me falling to my death. Good start. <laughs> I didn't see die. The Just... Thing to the right. All right. Well, I'll get a better computer. Um. Oh, I see another village. Uh, there's another village, and then there's another tall thing off beyond it. Ah, it's just uh, downloading to my computer now. Um, it's just a watchtower, I think. Okay. Um, if you're curious about some of the structures, mm -hmm. um, they're the reconcurrent complex. This one, too. The graveyard. Oh, okay. it's a horse with something. But not that big tower in the background. That's, uh... Nope. You've seen one of those in our testing. Yes, yes. A, a battle tower. Yeah. Um, since I'm up, I can run the command. Uh, what is this? <laughs> this is a village guard tower. Okay. <laughs> I can also run the commands to spawn them, make new ones. You get the idea. Mm -hmm. um, most of that's cheating in uh, survival. <laughs> mm -hmm. but is, this it... a... hmm? is this a pre made forge thing? Forge thing. I just trapped myself in? Dang it. Oh. Uh, I should be doing that. In fact, looking at my health hunger bar. <laughs> I should be doing something else here, too. <laughs> yeah, so this is a... Uh, the villages do spawn with these things. If we had a pick, I'd say we should steal it. Mm -hmm. But um, we're not there yet. <laughs> um, there has to be a farm in here. Is it intentionally a sheep riding a pig, or is that just mm. something that's... It's probably a pig hat. Okay. Note it. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, and that happens. Ah, that's what I was sort of looking for. Okay. I'm gonna steal some potatoes. They're gonna steal some wheat. That's another uh, tower. There should be some spawner in there. I forget which. 
And we've wasted time. Um, we should be able to cheat. By cheat, I mean make a day. <laughs> hmm? I, there's apparently a large cave or cavern right next to the village. And a villager just fell in too, which is nice. Eh, bad luck for him. Yeah. As I recall, this guard tower structure has a bed. Yeah. Okay. I have a single piece of bread. <laughs> so, by cheat, make a day, I mean borrow the bed that is here. I have a mod that will require not everyone to be asleep. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Okay. <laughs> okay. That worked. Not that there isn't enough sheep around for making beds the more traditional way. Hmm. Okay. Feed on? I don't really want to be too close neighbors with the uh, villagers. It tends to... Uh... <laughs> Not be good for their health? Yeah. And while... Making new villagers should be easier in mod it. I mean, it's not something this pack focuses on. <laughs> so that may not prove uh, useful. Can you make saddles in any part of this, or do you still have to find them? You can make saddles in this pack so far. I haven't disabled that on you yet. I did disable one of the uh, cobweb recipes, but not the other one. Um, yeah, so if you go into that NEI screen, you know, you see the box at the bottom. You can type into it, mm -hmm. and things will come up. If you click on it, you'll see the recipe, if there is one. It also nice. supports some regular expressions, so you can go, say, sad, and then uh, pipe, which is that bar on the right side of your screen for anyone who doesn't know what pipe is. I know my brother does. <laughs> and say leather. And you can see then the recipes for leather, which is apparently mushroom mu mushroom hide. I don't exactly know what that is. Or throwing rotten flesh into a manner infusion thing, which is later. Or rotten mm. flesh in the magnetic centrifuge, which require some nether stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm about to die. Very good. Oh, I need food. Fortunately, it's not cooked. Thank you. <laughs> well, that did nothing for me. <laughs> Very little for me. Um... Uh... Oh, That's I'm a guy. still recovering. That's the guide. Mm -hmm. Oi. Has he died yet? Thank you. Are we supposed to go this way? Uh, I'm supposed to not die. How's that working for you? Not too well. <laughs> I'm confused by sheep with hats. Kill one. It'll help with another problem, too. <laughs> I felt kind of sinny. So oh, what's hat did you get? I got the halo. <laughs> Means I killed a sheep with a halo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the other thing this will help with is, as you might notice, despite it not being originally in 1.7, we are getting this material old mutton. Mm hmm. Which, while eating raw, is not that efficient. <laughs> OK. 
Can we mine stone yet, or do we have to do oh, work? Yeah. Do work. Okay. We can commandeer our graveyard if you really want to feel. Uh... <laughs> I not get the button? There it is. I thought there was buildings around, but I'm seeing two of the guides, the uh, Princeton things. Mm -hmm. I see multiple graveyards. I see a clay rock thing. Yeah. And I see another biome. Which doesn't look very heavily wooded. Let's go back to the mini map. Ah, we have some woods nearby at least. Let's go that way. For some reason, I want woods. Of wood? Not enough for the game. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Nice. We're gonna commandeer our mineshaft. Okay. <laughs> we get anything good? A bunch of skulls. None I know. <laughs> well, a couple I've heard of. <laughs> ah, an impulse SV skull. <laughs> That's one okay. I know of. <laughs> okay. Do first step. <laughs> what did I make? <laughs> <laughs> and in the crafting bench again gets us the crafting station, which is good because now you can watch what I'm doing. How do you make this one as compared to a normal crafting bench? Because I did see the normal ones in the village. Do you take a crafting bench? Yeah. And then you do that to it. Uh, let's see what you're the doing. Indian of the thing. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So you do oh, you just craft crafting then. Yeah. Got it. And the <laughs> other one which is cool, and we can do it, is that one. Okay. And the cool thing about that one is it shows the items. In world. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what I was expecting. Okay. Um, you have some more wood? I do. Here. That are our first steps to go get more. Uh, we can do spruce chests. I don't mind that. Chests actually follow the wood type? Can. So those arrows you see there, that you change which recipe it is. So, first, very important, is making these. We'll nice. need a bunch of them. Alright, so now you have, what, 16? Yep. Stencil table. You okay. Take it. Um... Art builder. Take that too. Uh, no, I cannot. Why not? Because it's not letting me. There we go. <laughs> um, is it nighttime? I'm hearing no. a lot of noise. Okay. I think we're near a cave that's not that lit. Might be. Um, what's next? A tools station. Also not letting me take it. Exit and return to the inventory? No, apparently just saying it out loud fixes it. Ah. And last, but not least, though not as important, a pattern test, and I'll take that one. Um, okay. Oh, I want more room. Okay, then. <laughs> hmm. uh, you know, I just want to push this wall back a little bit. 
without destroying my iron. Uh, we're going to destroy this block. It'll take a moment, but it will go by. I'm going to put that there, and you're going to put the uh, part builder in front of it. Then a tools station and the others can be next to it here. It doesn't matter as much. And the reason I want the part builder with the pattern chest is you can see the contents of the pattern chest from in the part builder. Mm -hmm. um, mine's glitching out. There we go. Tool station just wasn't in my inventory for a while. Uh, um, click the empty slot in that case. Uh, inventory mm -hmm. tweaks tries to replace things, but I've been noticing it sometimes has been glitchy on this latest version. I have to poke. Okay, so now we have a stencil table here, and I put all the rest of our uh, blank patterns in it. And it's the first... almost night, so I'm going to go grab... Do you have third wool? Uh, I have two wool. You have wood? I have three wood. Okay, perfect. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Um, here we go. Yeah, well, this is not meant to be permanent, of course. Oh, there are monsters nearby. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a spruce sapling. There we go. Deep with the halo. There's the monster. Can he died, please. And rotten flesh would be very good right now. Oh, too bad we don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Okay. Where was I? You were... You did it already. Ah. Speaking of glitchy. Okay. So, we have a bunch of new books here. I don't think you got them. So. I hear a brat. I hope... And he's outside bad. Confused on the rail. Uh, very bad. Very, very, very bad. <laughs> Especially since I'm not, like, yelling. And now we have some rotten flesh. Yeah. Um. Speaking of glitchy, where did that torch go? I got it. Okay. It was there. Okay. Okay. by a baby zombie. Um, we have more wood. We do not. We need to grow more wood. Okay. With that... Is this ours, or was it another one? This one. And if there was another one... Why are there two quite that close? <laughs> okay. Um, another cool thing we get is um, if I make a bunch of slabs, there we go, is we get these drying racks. And the cool thing with drying racks is you can now take that um, 
rotten flesh and hang it. And if we wait a couple minutes, it'll become a edible food with some reasonable <laughs> reasonable uh, outcome. And we can also do that to most other meats, although I'm not quite sure whether this will work because it's not a vanilla yet. Here, I'll put it. Oh, we can't take it down? Right. Okay. Right click the, uh... Oh, you got it? No. I got yes, it. maybe. I was gonna put some chicken up. Oh, that'll work. Okay, so with that, next what we need is we have this, uh, stations. We need mm -hmm. a little bit of gravel. Okay. About uh, four got... pieces, no, about four times three, twelve <laughs> pieces each. I've got, ooh, uh, okay. I heard a slap. There was some, uh, can you throw me some stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I can do this. There's just a five block down drop. Okay. Okay. Always fun. I like uh, finding those. <laughs> <laughs> or them finding me. Whichever way feels more... And this is to get ourselves flint. Which will let us make that much needed. And flint is crafted here, so we're not, you know, which is why you haven't seen flint actually, you know, appear in world. Last one. Okay. So, in your personal crafting grid, you can easily put three flint like that, and that'll give us, you know, with the 12, will give us four flint. No drowning. <laughs> if I drown that long <laughs> right now, <laughs> I have one and a half hearts. <laughs> All right, so three flint. Okay. Four flint. So we go to stencil table, and we're going to need this one, which is the tool binding. You can, of course, borrow the same ones because it's just going to the other one. Whoops. And we need a, uh, and a these. Pickaxe head. And we also need that, but we don't really need that. Then in part builder. We can make a flint pickaxe head. We can convert some more wood. Do you have a flint pickaxe head? Uh, I do now. And you probably want that as well. Okay. And you need uh, some sticks. I can make some. Okay, eight sticks. And now we go to tool station and put together a tool. Well, I'm going to let you put yours together, and then I'm going to do mine. <laughs> okay. Enjoy the sticks. I see that. And now we have a flint pickaxe, which is mining level stone clumsy. Yay. Hmm. This means. If I go over to the coal in the corner there, you can see it is not mineable. You need copper. And okay. the iron is not co mineable. Nothing is mineable except stone. So it does mean we can make ourselves a little more room, I guess. Except we uh, might find that cave. Comes it comes back as cobblestone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can make an oven? We can make, uh, uh, we can certainly make a furnace of a normal variety, which will be useful for cooking food like the mutton before this stuff dries. Yes. Because I need food and I need health. 
Okay, so let's here. Wherever. We're just here. By the way, what I should do is put in my waypoints new mini mine shall mini mine. That's fine. Which uh will be my point for here should I be uh lost. Ooh. We have two jerk uh monster jerkies. I'm gonna eat <laughs> one of them now. I'm having trouble there we go. After I click on that. You have to click the on bar, the bar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oops. And I see inside your head. I'm going to make that harder in 1.9. Okay, so there's some other things we want. We want the shovel. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make the shovel head pattern now. And same idea, we just use a piece of flint for that. And here it's this one, the shovel. And we are nighttime again. You have that back? Oh, space. Yep. Morning, everyone. Put it there. All right. What'd you make the um the binding out of? I guess you don't need binding for a shovel, right? Shovel doesn't need a binding. Make it out of many things, but it's not worth it. We should also make Maddox, but that's not my primary concern. I want food. Oh, well, now make I the... can make. Now I can make a oven. Normal a furnace. Vanilla, vanilla furnace, yes. Okay, and here it is in the corner. Okay. I don't have any meat on me, or <laughs> nor do we have a way of getting coal, but it's there. I'm putting wood, I guess. There's some charcoal going. And there should be some uh, mutton in the chest. Oh, and you can make sure. mini charcoal, so once it uh, competes, just put in the craft pleats. Just put in the crafting grid, you can uh, get what's called a mini charcoal. Okay. And that only uh, requires one, you know, it's a one one. And mine copper, though, right? With the gravel kind. You can cry. Right here. So with the shovel, you can do copper and aluminum, and we'll need both of those. Um, huh. Because I need harvest level 10. So here's aluminum right here. One piece? You're kidding me. I don't need much, but I do need more than one piece. <laughs> um, this is tin gravel ore that we can't do yet. Yeah, yeah. I think that is too. I see more aluminum up this way. I don't fall into the hole. And I'm walking slow because I don't have the food. And let's see if we can't find ourselves the... We're also going to need a bunch of, like, as much as you can get, sand, gravel, and clay. So I hope one of these pools have clay in it.
And this will be useful in a little bit, but we're not quite ready for it yet. Let me get my uh, food, though. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> Okay. So we're right now hunting for clay, I think. We have some sand and gravel around, enough to get our needs. And right, what's um, the clay needed for? And uh, we need the uh, copper. And I think we'll be right back. Well, folks, that concludes part one of the Botanic Adventures mod pack. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if so, consider a thumbs up and or to follow to catch uh, part two, this smeltery, where we will find that gravel ore and the clay required to build it. If you're interested in the pack, a link to Minecraft Forms is down below in the description. Uh, and last, if you want to join us on this server, uh, information for signing up is also available down in the description. So, Hope to see you in the comments, hope to see you on the server, and if none of the above, just hope to hear if people are enjoying it.